Okay, this may be a long video, but within here, these are all the film pictures I've collected of smoke alarms and fire alarms. So let's go through them. Alright, let's start with this one. This was in my uncle's house, my mom's brother. BRK 70, 77R, not 79. Remember, some of these are going to be blurry because, well, that's how they were. Remember, film cameras, you didn't know the quality of the picture until they were developed. Anyway, this is this SA-76RC that was in our laundry room in Janesville, downstairs. Let's see. Here's a Presto 01 SD-1. Yes, Presto. This was in my ma my mom's mom's house, her upstairs hallway. Then I got it for my collection. You'll see that. And this is the Norelco HB0933. Once we got the first alert first alert light test for the escape light, you saw in my collection video. And by the way, you're gonna see a lot of these pictures, or <clears throat> you've seen a lot of these pictures from my collection video, or not a lot of them, but several of them. Anyways, once we got that one, we'll move this one down here. And then we had the, we took the SA-76RC with us, and that was there, and then took that down, and I added my collection. So here's a family guard. This is at a, a house of a friend of my grandma, I think, or relative or something. Again, this one's really blurry, but it's a system sensor 1800 with the heat sensor there. It was at some, some type of place we were on like a hike with my sister Gail and her family. I have a better picture of that. And we had, we lost 7,002 T's. Now here's a simplex. I think this was from Grace Hall and St. Thomas University in St. Paul because in summer of 94 I think it was or 95 myself and a lot of other special needs kids from all over the street all over the street all over the state went there for kind of a job skills transition program and their alarms were 9838 no 9833s on the 4903 strobe plates, you know, the ones with the wedge strobe, there are surface mounted ones. Then <clears throat> in the main entryway, they had the 2001 panel and the 9846 on the 9101 strobe plate. This is Norelco again. The alarm system went off twice, actually. One time, it was an accident because I guess apparently a girl had got her sleeve caught in the pole station and tricked it, triggered, triggered it. And the second was a planned drill because they had announced it. And then I used my tape recorder to record it. Can't find the tape. Now the the alarm next to the panel, the 9846 style one had a really rough <laughs> type sound. There's a video on YouTube called like me walking out of Epsilon Phi or something like that during fire drill. It has the exact same sounds. So anyways, here's that same Norelco that after we took that down and put a, that universal up there I added that to my collection, and there's my Casio SK-1, and here's, this is that strange fire X that was in that select in, I mentioned, that was the 0461 with the 0462 button, the clear button, and here's the 77R again, my mom's brother's house. Another one of the SK-1 Norelco. 
here's my dad's birthday, and I have, I think, a SA67D first alert. This was my aunt and uncle, SA300. It was in their upstairs hallway. Yeah, that was the same aunt and uncle that had the F FD1 or FB1. The Guardian FB1. Then they got this. You know, I mentioned that. I think I mentioned that in the thing. You know, they got that one and the kid of one. You saw that one because that's my high school or grade school friend's house. This one, yep, Polaroid. This one was my sister Gail's Andalusia house, Andalusia, Illinois, upstairs. This one is from the high school, I'm downstairs near the dining room. Their old system. Here's one that mom and dad took in the hotel, more recent one. Fire X. Here's one of my birthdays. I think it's the same, or another SA 67D. And yes, I don't have any glasses on, and yes, those are chocolate chip cookies. Here's a ESL from my sister Steph's apartment building. When she lived in the apartment building in Janesville, they, or she had a 79R in her apartment itself. And here's a BRK full of electric one. I can't remember where that one was at. Another hotel, I think. This was a GE. At that point, as you can see, had no battery on the cover open. This was in my brother Jeff's Beloit house. They're upstairs. They had this upstairs, a Honeywell CD200 in their dining room of all places. I think it was a lifesaver in the basement. You'll see the Honeywell coming soon. This one was in the restroom of some some place we went to. There's that smoke guard in 100A I told you about. Duplicate picture. There's another view of that Presto. Gear 1 SD1. Now, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you've seen this. Out with the old, in with the new. There's a, another video on YouTube from a TV station that says, Did Pastor's old smoke detectors work? And the fire department had the exact same type of display. Here's that Honeywell TC100 or whatever. You saw that one in my mail. No, Elevators video of the Damon ramp. Another ESL. My mom and dad took that one. Here's the Presto with its cover open. Yeah, it basically has the same circuitry as the old Lifesavers did, Fireonetics. I think you saw that one. You've seen that one. That's the Code 1 in my grandma's apartment, CD1. Not sure if you've ever seen this one, though. I'm not even sure if you ever knew First Alert made batteries, but they did. Back in the early 90s, they did. So Mom made me this Halloween costume, as you can see. Again, an SA67D. Mm, not sure if you've ever seen this one. This is from long ago. We had some of those are marked up. GE, Radio Shack, Vigilante, SA-626RC, BRK, with the React, there's the, <clears throat> the Gamma, SA-S200, I think that's the Probe, FB1, that was that's actually the one my mom's sister and brother had. Or sister and her husband, not sister and brother. Brown Sears, Honeywell, Lifesaver, and another Sears. 
That was quite a while ago. Now here's a Wheelock 7000. 7002, I mean. This is in the Holiday Inn and Fort Dodge. I mentioned that. Those one system detectors. And that's just some random video of an SA67D. Or picture. Duplicate. I think you've seen that one too. It's the BRK 1839WN. It's down one in my sister's basement. Sister Stephanie's basement. Duplicate of the ESL. Let's see, what was this one? We may have a flashlight, but I can't remember. Because we never had that installed. Unless, maybe, I'll bet what it was is I had it on the floor like that. And I was illuminated with the flashlight. Now this is the alarm my school friend had in their upstairs hallway in their new house. The old type of fire axe. You know, the same one that had that <clears throat> old wake and warm. This one's from my aunt Marlene's house, her upstairs hallway. It's a rare version with a white button. This one's from my nephew's trailer. That's the one I mentioned that I almost got when I showed the ESL. Here's the GE 8201-401 that we had. There's downstairs hallway. And there's me with the smoke guard again. You saw that one. That's the my sister's old boyfriend's house. Duplicate of that one. Duplicate of the code one. See, you've seen this one because that was when I showed you that code one emergency line on eBay. I showed you these two pictures. Here's another Halloween picture. I think that's actually the time when I first got the gamma. There's my sister Jess and her ghost outfit, and there's me with the unit itself. I think I got that Halloween. There's me and Jess and Dad with the smoke guard in the hotel room. That was after we had our Christmas celebration. Duplicate of my mom's brothers. Oh! I knew that was going to happen. There's my sister, Steph's house in Zanesville. Again, the 1839 WN or whatever. Most duplicate of the GE. Now this is my brother's Jeff's house in Milwaukee there. The family guard. When they first moved in they had the, the larger version of the SA sixty seven D. But then it started falsing so they put that one in there. Also upstairs and this was really dangerous. They had a hardwired vigilante detector. But my brother went to test it once, nothing happened. He opens up the cover and turns out that the previous owner had disconnected the wires to the horn. Anyways, here's that one detector, the lifesaver. I think we had that in the laundry room for a while too. Here's the Radio Shack safe house that you saw in my bed. <clears throat> it was like the second alarm I got, I ever got. Got it for Christmas. Here's another picture of it. Another picture of the Norelco. Here's the Jameson React. It was installed in my mom's shop. And here's just some. SA sixty seven. Here's that same smoke guard, eight hundred A. You fan collectors, there's some vintage fan drawing there. 
another one of my mom's brothers, 77R. The family friend, or friend of my grandma's, at one of her apartments, the smoky stove over there, a smoke scan. Here's a Sears. I think this is from a hotel dad stayed at once. And here's that same 77R, except from directly below. We had another one of the HP G933. Here's the one of Jeff's house before. You can see the old style SA67D there. Another one of the Norelco. Another one of the GE in our basement. Now this one is the 77R in the basement of my uncle's house, my mom's brother. And a few little farther away. And I just learned a couple months ago that we saw he kept these ceiling, ceiling tiles because he had listed his house online and it showed that the exact ceiling tiles. It's another duplicate of that Fire X. And here's before I even knew they were Fire X, so I just had unknown on there. Actually, this was from my sister, Steph. It was one of her apartments. So we just called it Smoke Buster. See? Before we even knew it was a Fire X. And here's a blurry view of the, the universal smoke signal that was in our laundry room. And there, this was at my aunt's house, the one that had the ESL. Here's me with the TC89B. I'm not sure if that's a smoke alarm she's holding or not. But anyways, yeah, the ESL would be over there. There's the Radio Shack, all set up. With box and everything. Another one of that. Let's see, here's when we got that photoelectric first alert for Christmas for them. I just said. There's another fire exit at a hotel. Another one of those. This one, if I remember right, this was from Jeff's wife's daughter's friend's house. We went there for a graduation her graduation party. So duplicate of that one. I think here's that same Sears that my dad had taken a picture of. Side view. Duplicate of the family guard my aunt had. Here's dad when we were initially installing the 76 RC in the laundry room. Another one of that. Here's after I'd gotten the Presto. And here's the GE in my Aunt Arling's basement. I think I mentioned her before. She lived in Lenexa, Kansas, suburb of Kansas City. I miss her so much. Here's that smoke art. Again, you saw that. And this next one is that one of me getting it for Christmas when I had everyone blurred out, so I don't want to show that. You saw that one again. That was from my sister's boyfriend's house. Here's the Honeywell. That was in Jeff's Beloit house. That's the one I mentioned was in the dining room. Thankfully, I never heard it go off. Here's another detector from the high school's old system. See a very blurry fire X. I think this was the bottom view of the one that my friend had. You saw that one, that's from the Christmas Mountain Village. This one, I think, was from the trailer of one of Dad's friends, fishing trailer. They'd go up fishing together quite often. 
along the Mississippi River. I think I mentioned that one. Get another view of that G. I guess it had a battery on it, but for some reason the car was still open. There's another one. I think this is another one of Gail's houses. She had several of them. And then System Center 2400. I think this is from the clinic. Here in Austin, they have like a clinic on 14th Street there. Let's see that one. Another Fire X. Here's another picture of that. The BRK in Steph's house in Janesville. Another one of the Fire X. Oh, yeah, this was in Wisconsin Dells. One year we had went there. It was like a condo timeshare type thing. And we went there and it was that. It's kind of a duplex type thing. So we had the one side and my brothers had the other. Or my brother, not brothers. I think this is the that detector from upstairs, the one that had its battery taken out, or I mean the horn disconnected. Yet another Fire X. A duplicate of that Presto. Yeah, I think this is my my aunt's laundry room. The one that had the ESL and then that one you saw up there. Now she has the PI 9, 9000 there. This is in my, my sister Steph's house that they had before they built the new one. Get the one with these, these one detectors they built brand new. So that was in their downstairs hallway or the basement leading to the stairs leading to the basement and up in their upstairs hallway they had the SE90 LT light test seen that one that's the family guard my man Colleen's house seen that one duplicate of that now here's one of the detectors that were in the rooms of that the dorm or Grace Hall I'm not even sure if I mentioned but when we were there, it was basically a, <clears throat> oh, whatever. What am I trying to think of? Here's one of these Edwards ones and Albert Lee. I think I showed you that picture. Here's a, another picture of the code one in grandma's apartment. Co-ed dorm. That's what I'm trying to think of. So when we had it, it was a, co-ed dorm but if you look on their website it's actually supposed to be a woman's dorm normally during the school year another one of that ESL no of the one of Marlene's basement here's some of my first collection where was it the very beginning of this very beginning of this collection actually my current collection. You get another one of those. You've seen that one. That's the one in my aunt's house. Here's the other view of that BRK that we saw way back at the beginning. Jeez, this is already almost a half hour. A lifesaver from, I think, a hotel somewhere. Here's one mom had taken up for me. Wheel like AH and a universal. I think that was another hotel they stayed at. Like the code one two thousand type one. One of those again. Let's see. I think this was in my mom's sister's trailer in her 
her husband motorhome or maybe it was someone else's motorhome I think this was on a cruise ship that my mom and dad were in it went on and there's a duplicate of that one picture of dad's birthday here's an ESL 320 I mentioned on the TFP forums that these are in the Hotel in Fort Dodge, Budget Host Inn, they're called. First time I've ever seen one of those. And here, I think this was the hotel in Kansas City. I went there to celebrate my aunt's birthday, Aunt Marlene's birthday. So you have a Gentex there and then the BRK and a sprinkler. And you've seen that one, duplicate. Duplicate again. There's that before we installed it. There's the one in our upstairs hallway. This is our playroom in Jamesville, Wisconsin. That's when I got the Radio Shack. You can see the striped carpet there. And then within here, down here there were doors. So we had all our toys down there. Then right above here was GA tool and 401. And here, this is cute. It's my sister Jess from a long time ago, and this was Eileen's old old house, the farmhouse. That's the one that I told you had, or the one I mentioned. You know, when I show the floor plans that have the bedroom off the TV room, that's the house that I was talking about. So anyway, there was just a nail that was there. So I just put that there and it was just posing with it. But smoke signal SS700. Another lifesaver. I'm about to end this video. I think this these are from California. We'll totally see that. Gentex GX90S. Another Fire X. I think that was in the room. There's some of my collection. It's not in the trash barrel, don't worry, guys. Now, here's the playroom again. I'm holding the, the Radio Shack outside of the frame like this. Then, up here is where the H O one four one was. A little those fire X ones again. That one again. There's a code one and that was in my mom's shop. And right over here is where the breaker box is. And here's a 1800 from somewhere. I think this could have been at the Holiday Inn in Burnsville. Radio Shack again. And another one. Oh yeah, by the way, you can see the, the drawing they had done. Smoke alert. That same 7002 again. Another one of these. And duplicate of that one. Let's see. Another one of that. And then the downstairs hallway again. Here's a doorknob smoke from the hotel. Remember the <clears throat> Super 8 and 4 Dodge had these. The one that had the BRK photoelectrics in their rooms. I don't think that was this. It was probably from somewhere else, but they had these outside in the hallways. So, that's it for part one.